Well, what we'll we'll, I do is I'm just going to talk you through. You're flying so nice. I'm going to talk you through a Cuban 8, a loop, and an implement, okay? But take them one at a time, and they won't be hygiene. They won't be quite as uh, disorienting as the rolling maneuvers. It'll be the, just the straight G stuff. Okay, go ahead and lower the nose on down just a little bit. I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll just do some of this stuff from this old cruise power settings. How's that sound? So, just go ahead and lower the nose on down. We're going to get about 270 knots. I'll just tickle the power up just a little bit. That'll help accelerate. Now, go ahead and dial the rudder trip over to about 4 degrees, or about 2 degrees. There you go. Just hold, hold what you have right here. Accelerating very nicely. Protect traffic. I don't see anybody. Okay, we're going to do the first half of a Cuban 8, okay? Keeping the wings level, I'd like you to just start pulling the nose on up here at about 3 to G, 3 Gs or so. There you go, keep pulling. Very nice. Good, a little harder on the pull. Keep pulling. Doing very nice. Working good. Keep pulling. Gonna go right up and over the top. I ease off the pressure just a little bit. A little bit too much, just a little bit of back pressure. Now, I want you to roll the airplane hard left now. Lots of left rudder, lots of left rudder. Good. Back wing level. Nose down now. Nose down. Feeling okay? Yes. Okay? Let's just do the second half here. Just, just go ahead and accelerate to about 270 or so. Keep the wing level now. And just go ahead and pull straight on back and right on back up over the top. That's a good pull. There's three, there's four G's right there. There's the vertical. You're doing great. Now we're going to do this roll for the right one, I tell you. A little forward pressure and roll hard right now. Lots of right rudder. Beautiful. There you go. That's perfect right there. That felt better, didn't it? That's better, yep. Yeah. Let's just do the old stock loop this time, okay? Re-accelerate to about 270 or so. Okay, right on back up over the top one more time. There's a good 4G pull. 6,500 feet, 270 knots, 4Gs on the pull. There's the vertical, 200 knots. Coming right back up and over the top. Here we are, 9,500 feet, 100 knots. You're doing great. Okay, 140 knots in the vertical once again. Start your 4G pull again. Beautiful job. You're going to be right back at 6,500 feet. Feeling good? Okay. We'll do one last maneuver, and then we'll bend right on back up over the top again. Go ahead, pull it. I just lost my head phone, I'm uh, just redoing it. Can you, can you help? Okay, go ahead, put it back on again. Okay, let's see, we'll do an implement here. Just go ahead and nose down just a little bit. Yeah, it'll be like half a loop for the rollout on the top, okay? Rollout, which way? Oh, we'll plan on doing it to the left. I'll just talk you through it, okay? Okay, we've got tons of airspeed. Go ahead and just start pulling the nose. I feel like you're going to loop the aircraft. Traffic checks good again. Good. Keep your pull going. Doing good. There's the vertical. Now, just a little forward pressure. Roll hard left now. Good rudder. All right. Nice. Good job. Okay, break time. Nose up a little bit. Power back to about 30 inches of manifold pressure. And I'll just tickle the RPM back. Okay, let's head on back to Winter Haven, okay? Good. We'll do a split S. I'd like you to raise the nose up to about 12, 15, 20 degrees. Nose up. There you go. Now, roll the airplane upside down, then stop the roll. We're going to do like the second half of the loop. Either way, just roll it upside down. Go ahead, right on over. 8,500 feet, now pull it through just like a loop. There you 
go. Now, what's the nose, sir? All right, there you go. Straight ahead now. Just keep the nose on down. Trim the nose down a little bit. Nose down a little bit more. Uh, Winter Haven here, we got time for a touch and go, alright?